Hi friends, welcome to RBWM, the special and the regular sessions. Okay, so as you all know, we are covering the RBW in this session. What do, what do we cover? We cover all the objective questions for the RBWM, various module wise. Okay, so follow the series till the end. Follow the series till the end. Okay, let's start. So let's start. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, one second. Yeah, everyone knows this portion of yours. What all are the subjects? Indian economy and Indian financial system, principles and practices of banking, accounting and financial management for bankers, and RBWM. So you must know, may all of you must first know the complete portion. Otherwise, what happens? You'll go on studying. And you won't know the portion at the, uh, then it's a problem for you, right? So that's why this portion is of utmost importance for you. You all must know this. Okay. Chalo. Let's me let me start with this. Hold on. In AFM, remember the you have many numericals. AFM as well as in uh, RBWM. In RBWM also you will be having the numericals. Okay. Chalo, let's start with today's topic. We will be doing the objective questions over here. Okay. One sec. So let's start with this May series for achievers. Okay. MCQ series module A we are in right now. So let's move on. First one. A retail business model is built on dash in geography based approach. A retail business model is based on dash in geography based approach. Mm, what can be the answer over here? Think over it. Think over it everyone. What can be the answer? A retail business model is based on what? Different products, different service, geographies, different markets so it is based on what it is based on dash in geography based approach dash now this dash you have to fill in think over it everyone think over it think think answer is very simple it's means uh, it seems to be there okay it is geography is correct in yesterday we covered some different approaches segmented approach then geography based approach then departmental approach i gave some one liners for you also so follow that completely everyone okay that's why i'm saying follow the series completely because what happens if you start from the middle you won't get the grip some topics we cover in this class some topics we cover in other class something important comes up then we cover up in uh, whenever wherever we can so that's why you have to follow the complete series okay so the answer over here is geographies okay retail uh, business model is based on geographies in geography based approach second one where strategies of retail banking are built on the basis of type of the branch such as rural semi urban urban metro such approach is called as Mm. This also I cleared it. Segmented, geography based, classification based, any of these. Now think over it. This is what you need to think. Everyone think over it. What do you say? Think for some time, yeah. What is it you are getting? What is the answer for this? Yes. The answer for this is built on the basis of rural, semi-urban. You have these branches in your banks also, right? Do you have the branches in your banks? Means you have semi-urban branch, you have urban branch. 
we all have these branches in the mainly nationalized banks we have this concept of semi urban urban right so this approach is called as what segmented geography based classification based just now i gave you the example of geography based right i gave you the example of geography based so what was the answer geography based means what it will be based on geography means what i am having the branch in maharashtra i am having the branch in jnk i am having the branch in punjab haryana mp this is geography based segmented means what depending on the customer segment i am having a nri branch i am having a msme branch this is segmented classification means what this is the real answer classification means rural semi urban urban means as we differentiate the, between the branches this is the urban branch this is a semi urban branch so this becomes the answer okay so classification based approach where the branches are of the type rural semi urban urban metro it is called as classification type okay next one which of the following business models business approach for retail banking is found in public sector banks now business which approach is found in public sector now you will get confused over here okay now look at this segmented approach geography based approach classification based approach and holistic model based on the corporate objective this is corporate corporate objectives of the retail business okay so which approach is used by public sector banks many of you will get confused over here okay many of you will get confused over here get the answer for this yeah what do you think should be the answer many of you will get i'll tell you what will you do many of you will write i'll tell you they'll you'll write classification based okay you will write classification based but that is not the answer think over it huh? got the answer what is the what is the answer for this here public sector banks we generally feel that it is classification based urban semi urban rural but it's not that the real answer is this holistic model based on the corporate objectives for the retail banking see your corporate objectives this is very important nowadays even public sector banks have changed now you have seen the shares of uh, public sector banks now in the stock market usually up why because they have changed they have changed the model earlier we had this model of classification based geography based everything we had it in our banks geography based also we had it classification based also we had it but now we are coming up out of all these and now we are moving towards this holistic model based on the corporate objectives for retail business so corporate objectives are important what are corporate objectives corporate objectives means where i want my bank to be in coming years what should be my net, my net profit that is my corporate objective based on that i'll change my classification i change my geography based wherever i want the branches are not working so i'll shift those branches right wherever i want there is a semi urban branch but uh there are a lot of urban customers coming over there i'll shift it from semi urban to urban okay so it can happen anything depending on the corporate objectives these are very important corporate objectives okay chalo let's move on which of the following business approach for retail banking is followed in the new private sector banks now new private sector segmented 
geography based classification based and mix of segment and classification so what is the answer for this think over it now new private sector banks means which banks are we talking of we are not talking of this karnataka bank or karur vaishya bank federal bank these banks were all formed before 1991 those banks which are formed after 1991 after that narsimham committee report remember 1991 narsimham committee report was one of the game changers in banking system it changed the whole approach of banking earlier the banks were dominated means mainly almost 99% all the banks were nationalized banks only they were dominating the game but in 1991 narsimham committee gave the report that the banking needs to be changed for that new private sector banks came in in 1994 these banks came in generally some came in somewhere earlier also but generally 1994 these banks came in so these banks when they came in they changed the whole scenario of banking now all we see that uh, online banking everything we are moving shifting more towards this app banking now right why is it because of the app, uh, the competition given by these private sector banks right so now which of the following business approach for retail banking is followed by these new private sector banks so what what should be the answer over here is it segmented do they have nri branches msme branches do they have classification based means rural semi urban <coughs> what do they have think over it think yes think over it everyone what should be the answer for this private sector anyone amongst you is in private sector banks new private sector or you can say axis bank hdfc bank icici bank indusind bank or old private sector banks means federal bank karur vaishya bank okay so what is the answer for this yes the answer is mix remember it's a mix they always follow the mixed approach new private uh, this indian private sector banks okay next one which of the following constitutes a basic structure of retail banking as per the recent trends so constitutes a basic structure structure means what do we sell which one do we sell now what do we sell do we sell retail assets only do we sell retail asset and liabilities do we sell liability and third product third party products only or do we sell retail asset retail liability and third party products this is quite simple one so you should be able to answer this right what do you think should be the answer very simple one think let me get the answer from your side let me get the answer from your side everyone So what is the answer, everyone? Yes. What is the answer? What should be the answer? Think over it. Simple one, isn't it? Don't you sell insurance today? Your main job is insurance selling now. Means many of the bankers tell me that we are less of the bankers and more of the insurance sellers, right? Everyone is selling insurance on the today. Insurance, insurance. I go to the bank for FD. i come out with insurance i go to the bank for savings i come out with insurance i go to the bank for depositing the cash i come out with insurance that's the same so it is what all of these three retail assets retail liability and third party what is retail asset 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 means what asset is a loan for the bank so loans are the assets for the bank liability means what deposit saving current fd 
and third party means what this third party means those products like insurance mutual fund or broking accounts there are many there are factoring else uh, there are other other as well so there are certain credit cards of other banks so these are all the basic structures of today's banking means total today we do the selling of all these three products retail assets liabilities and third party so the answer is d over here d okay answer is d got it everyone answer is d next one liability products offered liability products offered to the customers in the in the following three forms so liability means what deposit okay deposit products so deposits are offered in what form savings account third party products means insurance mutual fund term deposits second is savings account current account current account and term deposit saving account current account third party product okay third party products and current account third party products third party products and term deposits so what should be the answer now this is quite 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 simple you must be able to know this because we all have passed the entrance while coming to the banks right so we all must know this answer what do you think yeah what do you think all yeah it is correct we are here talking of only banking products only banking so saving current and fd this is the only answer third party product is not a banking product so this doesn't come under liability here also third party here also third party these products are not under uh, liability product these are not core banking products core banking products are only three saving current fd in deposits and in loans any of any type of loan which we give okay next one the following has become the generic feature of savings bank account in recent years generic means what common feature common means what so what common feature means so what means if i tell any customer i am giving atm card so what if i am giving debit card so what credit card so what multi city check so what it's nothing new okay so that is generic feature suppose if i tell you sun rises in the east you'll say so what i know it okay bank gives the loan products so what it's a generic feature so the point over here is generic means whatever is common you can't differentiate yourself you can't differentiate yourself so that is the generic feature okay so which are the generic features atm card debit card credit card multi city checks it is a to d all all of them all of them have become the generic features now nothing is new credit card is also done every bank is giving all these products atm card multi debit card credit card multi city checks everyone is giving the same isn't it next one to increase the earning potential of a savings bank balances okay of savings bank balances the following facilities are offered by the banks so what are the facilities sweep add on life policies add on group health policies and all of the above to increase the earning potential of savings bank account means what if i have more balances in my savings bank then i learn more why because savings bank is a low cost deposit saving and current both low cost deposit why because we don't give any interest on current on saving we give hardly 3.5 to 4% percent, right so that's why we have to earn a lot on the savings bank account so which facilities are available sweep add on life add on group health and all of those so answer is correct all of the above everything is allowed what is sweep i'll cover that later we are having a separate topic on that okay this you already know add on group life policies add on group health policies 
liability product differentiation is very thin in different bank uh, different bank but the following factor distinguishes the product from one bank to another so liability product means what saving current fd now saving current fd is common you go anywhere saving is saving current is current fd is fd let it be any bank okay so what differentiates number 1 technology and delivery process and delivery technology and process only technology process and delivery all so the answer is simple isn't it all right now uh, see this to enable the customer to partially withdraw the term deposit without disturbing the entire amount on end result and loss the bank provides offer no penalty fdrs here what are we doing partially withdraw we are not closing the fd over here offer no penalty fdr inject an unfixed component in the fixed deposit offer an overdraft facility and all of the above all of us tend to give the answer all of the above but the answer is not that we want partially withdraw okay the term deposit so partially withdraw without disturbing the entire uh, term deposit so in that case partially withdrawing if i offer no penalty fdr means what the customer will be able to withdraw all the fds he'll be withdrawing full fd okay so that is also uh, one thing or even the customer can withdraw the partial fds also because i have seen that also suppose if 1 lakh fd i want only 40000 customer will withdraw 40000 make another fd for 60000 inject an unfixed component so that is also injected and offer an overdraft so the answer will be actually all of the above right hi friends good morning welcome to the achiever series in adda 24/7 hi good morning good morning everyone ready okay so we are in the achiever mcq series for those who have, those who are joining new we are in the mcq series for rbwm okay and we are covering all the objective questions for your rbwm remember this Uh, question bank from which i am taking it's available in the paid classes so immediately join the paid class and you'll get all these question banks uh, complete question bank with you okay so let's start okay for may 24 exam achiever series mcq uh, achiever series it's a mcq question series okay we are in module a right now so let's start yeah so the first question to make the fd to function like the current account the banks offer what function like a current account look at this function like a current account to make an fd function like a current account means what how can a fd function like a current account what is a current account everyone what is a current account current account means where i make the transaction constant transaction unlimited transactions i do make So can I make the same in FD? Yesterday we saw one question, similar question over here. Yesterday at the end, how many of you have uh, got the answer? Similar question. Yeah. Okay. So for this, what is the answer? Say this: To make the FD function like the current accounts, the banks offer what? Cancellation offer cancellable FDRs. offer no prepayment penalty for fdrs offer overdraft facility attached to the fdrs and all of the above now this is again the problem we always think whenever we see this all of the above answer all of us feel that yes generally this is the answer but no this time this is not the answer all of the above is not the answer now you think over itself everyone think over it what should be the answer for this to make the fd function like the current account what should be the answer everyone think over it think over it what should be the answer yeah how can an fd function like the current account the answer is 
CR to offer ODRA facility on the FDR. What is an OD? FDOD, what is that? FDOD means, what do we do in FDOD? A typical amount, generally 80 to 90 percent, is given on that FD as an OD. Right? We open a separate OD account and then give it. And that customer makes the transactions on that. Offer cancelable FDR, this is not the answer. Why? Because if I cancel this FDR, what happens? FD won't remain at all. We want the FD also and the OD also to remain. To offer no prepayment, prepayment penalty FDRs means what? Again, I am telling that customer to cancel that FD. So, A and B cannot be the answers. Okay? So, answer will be C only. C. This is the answer. Offer order of facility on the FDR. That is the answer. Okay? Let me mark it red. Everyone got this? Type yes in the comment section. Everyone got it? Group life insurance covers and group health insurance covers are offered by the bank with so group life. We always give not only group, we give single life also. Life insurance covers or health insurance also. Okay? We give this health insurance, we give this uh, life insurance covers with various products. Which are those products? Now what do you mean by this? We give this as Added addendum. Now many of us don't know over here. Many of the banks might not be giving nationalized banks, but private banks and foreign banks have already started this product long back. You open the savings account with us and you'll get a health insurance, you'll get an accident policy, you'll get this policy, you'll get that policy free. Open the savings current FD account with us. So, what is the answer over here? Along with which products do I offer this life insurance and health insurance products? With FDR, savings bank, current account or only FDR and current account or only savings and FD account or savings bank account and current account. So what can be the answer A, B, C or D? Think of it. Yes. Yes, what do you say guys? What do you say? What is the answer? Which products do we offer the life insurance and health insurance? Is it A? I'll give you a hint. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It is either A or C. A or C. What can be the answer? It's either A or C. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. See, uh, the answer is this. A. All of them. All of them. See, uh, it depends on the bank. If some bank wants to mobilize more current accounts, it will offer these products with the current. If some bank wants to mobilize FDRs, it will uh, offer these products with the FDRs. So, these are just the add-on policies, add-on things given, okay? Next one. Term deposits are offered with the provision for, pre for payment of interest on. So, now these are all basic questions, but we must know this. All are basic, but we must know the answers over here. So, this term deposits are offered with the provision of payment of interest on monthly and quarterly. Monthly, quarterly and on cumulative interest payment basis. Quarterly and on cumulative interest payment basis. Monthly and on cumulative interest payment basis. So, what is the answer? Do I give the interest? Uh, okay, how many of you uh, uh, work, on the, work in the FD department or have worked in the FD department? What are the uh, uh, interest, uh, interest which you are giving? Are you giving monthly interest or quarterly or cumulative or six monthly also? See here, there can be answer of six monthly also over here. 
okay yearly also can be the answer it depends on bank to bank i can give the interest on monthly quarterly six monthly and cumulative interest payment basis i can give that also so what is the answer yes answer is b correct monthly quarterly on a, and on cumulative interest payment basis all of them any of them you can you can give the interest okay i can give it on the daily basis who can ask stop me as far as my software supports it okay i can give it on the daily basis what the what's the problem okay yeah next one the standard retail asset products offered by the bank are housing loans consumer durable car loans credit cards and personal loans so which are the standard retail asset products standard means commonly given commonly housing loans consumer loans car loans credit cards and personal loans so a to b a to c a to d and a to e all now this is the simplest question available simplest okay it is the simplest think or it give me the answer the most simplest question The answer is A to E all, correct? A to E all. These are the common products: housing loan, consumer loans, car loans, credit card, personal. These are known as generic products now. Every bank is giving these products, right? Next one. The retail asset products do not include which of the following? Now this is the tricky one, huh? Retail asset products do not include which of the following? Now this is the really tricky one. Think over it: rent receivables, salary ODs, loan for traders in personal segment. So do not include retail assets. Huh? Rental as uh, this rental receivables, salary ODs, loans for traders in personal segment, A and C, B and C, A and B, and none of the above. Now think over it. What can be the answer? Everyone, 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 everyone. Be fast. Yes. Think over it. What can be the answer? Retail assets products which do not include. Who do not in? What is not included in retail assets? Let me get the answer from you, everyone. What is the answer over here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think over it. Think over it. Fast, 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 fast. in the meantime everyone do join the batches because the batches are have just started okay all the numericals objective questions case studies covered i have just started the batch yesterday only it was an orientation phase the actual topic will start from monday so do join the batches asap okay how to join them i'll show you at the end okay in the meantime everyone subscribe to officers at the 24/7 Everyone, subscribe to Officers Adda. Click on the bell icon. Everyone, click on the bell icon. Share it with your friends. If you like it, see this. Yeah. So retail assets do not include which of the following. Give the answer. Is it D or is it C? Where is the answer of C? Yeah. It's either A or D. Think of it. A or D. What should be the answer? A or D? Yes, please give me the answer, everyone. A or D? What can be the answer? Yeah. D is the right answer. None of the above. All of them are the features of retail retail assets. Rental receivables means we give the loan on the rentals. Okay, if somebody is getting some rent. I can fund that customer on a regular basis on that rent also. 
because after all that's like an EMI to that person or this uh, SIP to that person. Second is salary overdrafts, right? Salary ODs means OD to the salary account. If somebody is getting a regular salary, I can offer that customer a one month or two month salary OD. Loan to traders. Remember, many of you felt that traders is a corporate loan. No, small traders and MSME is a retail loan. Okay. So loan to traders is a retail loan. Remember this. It's a retail loan. Got it? Next one. Which of the following does not form the part of retail services? Does not. Which of the following does not form the part of retail services? Mobile, internet. Telephone banking, A, B, and C. Mobile banking, internet banking, telephone banking. It's quite simple now. This, this you can definitely get it. Answer is right. Simple answer. None of the above, isn't it? Because all are the part of this uh, alternate channels now, right? What is alternate chan channels? Alternate channels mean those channels where human being is not directly involved. Mobile banking, internet banking, app banking, telephone banking, social media banking, all these, okay? So these are a part of retail services now, okay? Move on. Type yes in the comment section if you are getting it right up till now. Everyone type yes. Next one. In retail banking, which of the following is not the part of other products and services? Now look at this, not the part of other, other means what we are talking of here, talking here as a ancillary products, ancillary services, ancillary, okay, ancillary services, these are called as ancillary, one second, ancillary services, these are called as, okay, yeah, so which of them is not the part of ancillary services, retail sale of gold coins, Bill payment services, payment gateway to rail, air ticket booking and none of the above. Mm. Now I will tell you, many of you will get confused in one answer, definitely. You will all get confused in one answer because you all banks are not doing it as of now. Which one? Think over it. Okay, I'll give you a hint in this. Okay, wait for two uh, half a minute. I'll give you a hint also. All of you are getting confused between A and C, you no know, D. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The answer is between A and D only. A and D. Now think over it. Answer is between A and D. Think, think, think. Yes. The answer is D, D, none of the above because all of them are the part of uh, other products and services. What did I see? The You will get problem in this uh, gold coins because nowadays none of the banks sells gold coins. I mean very few, I won't say none. Very few banks sell the gold coin because the margins are very, very limited in that. But that is also an ancillary services. What are ancillary services? Ancillary services are those services which are not a core banking product. Okay, what is a core banking product? Core banking product means saving current FD for deposits and for loans. We have all our loans. Housing loan, personal loan, consumer loan, all the types of loans. Any loan given is a core product. Then what is ancillary? Locker. Locker is an ancillary service. Is, there, is it a core product of a bank? Suppose if there is no locker tomorrow, won't the bank function? Will the bank stop functioning? So ancillary means which is not directly affecting my uh, core business. Okay. Even this mutual fund, insurance, third party product, these are all ancillary ser services. Many others are there. Okay. So coming back. 
jam so answer is none of the above okay all of them are a part of other products or ancillary services okay the process of developing a product where the best features available of the available products are incorporated along with the additional value engineering is called as hmm what do you mean by this developing a product where the best features of the available product so whatever is the existing feature existing product let's say tomorrow i am in let's say some xyz bank and i see that sbi has developed a very good product or pnb has developed a very good product which is gaining huge uh, traction or huge attention so what will i do i just copy the full product from them okay and add some additional features which they are not giving so getting the best features from this uh, existing product and adding the value so cross selling product innovation hybrid hybrid cross pollination and product development so what is this called as this is the typical one now this is a real difficult one huh? yeah this is a real difficult one think over it yes this will really require your means uh, rack your brains you'll have to think again and again in this yeah think 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 let me see how many of you have answered this no still people are confused over here still you are confused still many of you are confused over here so what is the answer for this see there is a typical answer for this the typical answer for this is hybrid cross pollination now what is hybrid cross pollination you will say sir what is this pollination this is a biology word you had this in biology right pollination so hybrid cross pollination is a term used from that biology only and it is given in banking so what do i do i copy that full product pollination means what it's from one flower to other the bees move okay so similarly from one bank to another the bank, the product moves and we add some features to it some value to it okay so that's why hybrid cross pollination is the answer next one the views and instructions of dash are prime drivers of product development in banks hmm views and instructions of whom prime drivers in product development so product development has a main feature means it is dependent on whose views rbi ministry of finance training establishments and top management now here many of you have this in the mindset that the answer is customers isn't it the views and instructions of customers are of prime importance that is obviously the answer if the answer would have been customers over here okay if there would have been an option of customers then that would have been the first answer customers but now you have to choose between these given answers between this for what is given then rbi and uh, ministry training and top management between these answers so whenever you have to choose between these answers what should you choose you will have to choose the amongst them which is the best top management this is the right answer top management okay got it next one in product development in banks the following factors are given weightage geography weightage of branch center and business potential a to c all only a to d all b and c only b and d only so what do you think see this in product development in banks the following features 
are given the weightage which features are given the weightage yeah which features are given the weightage geography can i give any product anywhere suppose if i give the same product in banking in uh, south india as well as in north india same product forget the core products savings or anything but other other features they vary as per the requirement of that customer of the region weightage of the branch correct center uh, center and business potential so the answer is this a to d all all of them is the answer okay all of them are given the importances over here and last one for today in the product development in bank the following factors are given importance market now look at this question is same but look at the factors market dynamics segmentation customer segments and product positioning so our question is same but the factors are different again the options are same think over it what can be the answers what can be the answer for this again common answer right a to d all because all the factors are important market dynamics what is the market product what is the market trend going on right now segmentation what type of customer i am targeting customer segments right and product positioning isn't it one sec yeah. hi friends welcome to adda 247 so we are in the achiever series good morning everyone yeah everyone morning first we are in the achiever series right for the rbwm yeah how many of you are there from first day how many of you have joined from the first day how many of you are watching from the first day type yes in the comment section everyone type yes in the comment section how many of you are watching from the first day see here we have started it almost 6 days back and we are covering all the objective questions presently we are covering module a okay so those who have not watched kindly go through the entire series okay because very important questions will be covered over here so let's start without wasting the time and basically we we are covering objective questions because that is also an important part almost what all the questions are objectives only and these one liner questions carry huge marks okay so let's study let's start okay first one which of the following is not correct regarding product developments in bank so you are not correct we want what is not correct regarding product development survey is done in commercial banks but only through in house resources and not outsourced we want not correct okay in some banks no survey is done products in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the customers and d1 none of the above so which of them is not correct yeah not correct we want not correct now think everyone think let me see yeah think over it think over it i'll wait for one uh, half a minute because this is a typical one see here survey is done in commercial banks but no but only through in house resources so firstly what are commercial banks commercial banks are this nationalized plus private both the banks are commercial banks so do the survey do the survey in house think over it number 2 no survey is done in some banks so it happens in many of the banks it happens many of the cooperative banks no survey is done nothing d product in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the customer means what are the major customers of the bank say 
or the big customers of the banks. And this generally happens in cooperative banks again. And also in various new banks also. They develop the products fast. And last one is none of the above. So what should be the answer over here? The answer is A. Correct? Answer is A. Survey is done. This is not correct. Remember, it is not correct. Why? Because survey in commercial banks is not done in-house. It is outsourced. Okay? It is outsourced. Got it? Clear? Next one. Processing of products and services in retail banking is approved from the following dimensions. Number one, processing is done through in-house resources. Number two, Processing is partly done in-house and for some products outsourcing. Number C. In some products, entire process is outsourced. A to C all means in-house, then partly and complete outsource. So A to C all, B only. Some outsourced, some uh, in-house. A and B only means in-house and some outsourced. And A and C only. So, in-house and completely outsourced. So, what should be the answer over here? Think over it. Everyone. Yeah. Think, think, think. Yes. Is it A to C all? Means some completely in-house, some outsourced, some in-house and uh, completely outsourced is it something like that or only b b is the answer many of you are thinking b is the answer what do you think the answer is e to c all this is the answer right Good morning everyone, those who have joined new. Good morning, those who have joined late. Good morning. So it is A to C all. Processing of products and services is approached via complete in-house or uh, part, partial outsource or it is complete outsource. In foreign banks, they do complete outsource. See this. In foreign banks, they generally do complete outsource. This is done in Indian private banks and this is generally done in nationalized banks in house. Okay. For product development in public uh, sector banks, the following approach is adopted. So, product development, focus on this word product development for developing a new product in PSBs. Now, now they have specifically asked about PSB, public sector bank. So, for PSB, what is the approach to be adopted processing is done in all cases by using in-house resources processing is done in some cases by using in-house and some outsource and here complete outsource c1 and d outsourcing is not used at all so a and d are similar answers all give by in-house resources yeah we'll change this because a and d seem to be same So, so, product development in public sector banks, the following approach is adopted. Processing is done in all cases by using in-house, so completely in-house or partial in-house, partial outsourcing or processing is done in all cases by using out, uh, uh, using out resources, out means outside resources, okay. So, what is the true answer over here? What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. Up till now, we used to think that in public sector banks, everything is done completely in-house. Earlier, means up to 2005-10, they used to do completely in-house. But nowadays, even public sector banks have changed. Okay, they have also changed. Now, you see, all the banks have geared up. You might have seen this, right? All your banks are giving you huge pressures, isn't it? Aren't they giving you huge pressures now? 
So all your banks are giving you huge pressures for what? For functioning. How many of you are getting the insurance target? Everyone. Just tell me. How many of you are having that insurance target to the fullest? Means to the fullest means on a daily basis. How many insurance logged in today? This week, that week, insurance week, that week. Then you have that Kisan uh, credit card target. How many of you have this uh, KCC target and insurance target? Mainly insurance. Forget about KCC. Because KCC is the core product. What about insurance? How many of you have insurance targets? Type yes in the comment section. If you have the insurance targets, everyone. Type yes. Right? Everyone. Because nowadays banking is less of banking and completely it's of insurance. So that's why public sector banks have changed a lot. They have sim big, uh, become similar to that of the national, uh, this uh, private banks. So the answer is this now. B. This is same the case in private banks also. This is similar. Uh, similarly, the case is in public sector banks also. So processing is done in some cases using in-house and in some cases using outsourcing. So that is done. What is outsourcing? Outsourcing means we give the survey part or some other uh, part which is given to the other public, means common persons, uh, means some private agencies are given this job. Okay? Got it? Move on. Okay? Yeah. Chalo. Next one. Are you with me, everyone? Are you with me? Everyone okay with this? How's it going? Are you understanding it? Everyone, are you understanding it? Type yes in the comment section. Everyone, are you following it? <coughs> Shall the next one. In which of the following category of banks, the product development process is fully outsourced? Fully. Fully outsourced in which category of banks? Now think over it, everyone. Which category of banks the product development is fully outsourced? Public sector, new private, old private and foreign banks. Firstly tell me, what is public sector bank? See here, today I will be taking the same session in at 7 am, just 15 minutes from now. Join the batches as said. Right now you can join the batch also. Today is the first day of the paid batch. Do join it immediately. Okay, do join it. Right now you join it. Because today's topic is this only. Public sector bank, the introduction to the banking, retail banking. I will be taking that only. Okay. So, fully outsourced in which bank? See here, new private sector bank means what? These are HDFC bank, ICICI bank, which have, which have come into existence after 1991. Narsimham committee. Old private sector banks means those banks were existing earlier. Those are private banks like Karnataka Bank or uh, this. Uh, uh, there were other banks as well. Karnataka was there. Karur Vaishya was there. These banks existed long back. And last one is foreign bank means like Citibank, HSBC. So fully outsourcing is done in foreign banks this year. Year full outsourcing is done always. Okay. Here they do full outsourcing. Remember this, okay? So, foreign banks. In new private sector banks and public sector banks, partial, okay? Here, in fact, all, all of them now, all of them are partial outsourcing completely, okay? All are doing partial outsourcing now. Got it? Okay with this? Move on. Chalo. Let's move on to the next one. Bank adopt different approach, uh, different process models for retail asset products, which include centralized retail asset processing centers, centralized processing in some cases, regional processing centers, and standalone processing at branches. So banks adopt different process models. What are the different process models? Centralized retail asset products. Now you'll see what is the difference between A and B. What is the difference? 
centralized retail asset products and here centralized processing in some some cases now the difference between a and b is in a we are only focusing on asset loan but here we are focusing on loan as well as deposits assets and liabilities both okay so that is the difference centralized asset processing then centralized processing in some cases regional processing center regional means what we have various in various regions north east west south there are certain processing processing centers right stand alone processing at branches means at the branch level what is the answer a to d all a to c only a and a to b only and c and d only what should be the answer over here everyone think sometimes there is only retail asset sometimes centralized is done for all the products nowadays all the products are centralized all almost right banking products retail processing centers and stand alone so the answer is a to d all okay all of them a to d all okay got it next one in retail asset product model where the retail loans are sourced by branches and by marketing teams and processed at a single point is known as here sourced at branches branches are only sourcing it by marketing team so everything is sourced here we are talking only of sourcing and processed at a single point so single point means only one level centralized processing it might be or anything we can call it so it is called as what stand alone regional centralized and any of these so what is the answer for this all the branches are giving the uh, this documents and they are processed at only one level one processing center is there so that is called as stand alone regional centralized and any of these what do you think yeah think over it think over it i'll just wait for one minute okay So the answer is centralized, right? Centralized processing. This is the answer. Centralized. Got it? Okay. Next one. Where the bank follows the retail asset product processing at branches without taking any assistance from regional centers. This is called as see here. Where the branch follows the retail asset processing at branches. So it is done at branches. without taking any assistance from the regional center so no help from the head office or zonal office or anyone so it is called as stand alone regional centralized or any any of these think or this is a bit tricky one tricky okay this is a bit tricky one a bit tricky everyone think or it everything is done at the branches sourcing is also done at the branch processing is done at the branch everything at the branch so it is called as what stand alone regional centralized <coughs> think 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 i'll give you a hint also okay it's either a or b it's either a or b think over it now i want the answer in the comment section everyone kindly comment 
give the give it in the comment section everyone Answer is, it is called a standalone. Remember, standalone processing means standalone. What do you mean by standalone? I am alone. Nobody is helping me. That's what is said over here. Processing at the branches without taking any assistance from the regional center. So, no help. It is called a standalone. Got it? Remember this by heart. The level of centralized processing of retail assets is the lowest in respect of which of the following banks. So, centralized processing of retail assets is lowest. Remember, we want it for the lowest now. In which of the following banks? New private, old private, public sector and foreign banks. Central processing is lowest. Which of the banks? Think over it. Lowest now, we don't want highest, we want the lowest, okay, we want the lowest, so it is lowest in public sector banks, remember this, public sector banks, C is the answer, okay, next one, the level of centralized processing of retail assets is highest in respect of which of the bank, highest, so everything is centralized, everything. It's highest in which banks then? Obviously now this will be foreign banks, right? 7. So we are in the Achiever series. Good morning everyone. Yeah. Everyone morning first. We are in the Achiever series, right? For the RBWM. Yeah. How many of you are there from first day? How many of you have joined from the first day? How many of you are watching from the first day? Type yes in the comment section. Everyone, type yes in the comment section. How many of you are watching from the first day? See here, we have started it almost six days back. And we are covering all the objective questions. Presently, we are covering module A. Okay. So, those who have not watched, kindly go through the entire series. Okay. Because very important questions will be covered over here. So, let's start without wasting the time and... Basically, we'll, we are covering objective questions because that is also an important part. Almost what? All the questions are objectives only. And these one-liner questions carry huge marks. Okay? So, let's study. Let's start. Okay? First one. Which of the following is not correct regarding product developments in bank? So, you have not correct. We want what is not correct. Regarding product development, survey is done in commercial banks but only through in house resources and not outsourced. We want not correct. Okay. In some banks, no survey is done. Products in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the customers. And D1, none of the above. So, which of them is not correct? Yeah, not correct. We want not correct. Now think, everyone think. Let me see. Yeah. Think over it. Think over it. I'll wait for one uh, half a minute because this is a typical one. See here. Survey is done in commercial banks but no, but only through in-house resources. So, firstly, what are commercial banks? Commercial banks are this nationalized plus private. Both the banks are commercial banks. So, do the survey, do the survey in-house. Think over it. Number two, no survey is done. 
in some banks so it happens in many of the banks it happens many of the cooperative banks no survey is done nothing b product in some banks are developed and launched based on the industry practices and needs expressed by the practical customer means what are the major customers of the bank say or the big customers of the bank say this generally happens in cooperative banks again and also in various new banks also they develop the products fast and last one is none of the above so what should be the answer over here the answer is a correct answer is a survey is done this is not correct remember it is not correct why because survey in commercial banks is not done in house it is outsourced okay it is outsourced got it clear next one processing of products and services in retail banking is approved from the following dimensions number 1 Processing is done through in-house resources. Number two, processing is partly done in-house and for some products outsourcing. Number C, in some products entire process is outsourced. A to C all means in-house, then partly and complete outsource. So A to C all, B only. Some outsourced, some uh, in-house. A and B only means in house and some outsourced and A and C only so in house and completely outsourced. So what should be the answer over here? Think over it, everyone. Yeah. Think, think, think. Yes. Is it? A to C all means some completely in house, some outsourced, some in house, and uh, completely outsourced. Is it something like that? Or only B? B is the answer. Many of you are thinking B is the answer. What do you think? The answer is. A to see all. This is the answer, right? Good morning, everyone. Those who have joined new. Good morning, those who have joined late. Good morning. So it is A to see all. Processing of products and services is approached via complete in-house or uh, part partial outsource or it is complete outsource. In foreign banks, they do complete outsource. See this. In foreign banks, they generally do complete outsource. This is done in Indian private banks and this is generally done in nationalized banks in-house. Okay. For product development in public uh, sector banks, the following approach is adopted. So product development, focus on this word, product development for developing a new product. In PSBs, now, now they have specifically asked about PSB, public sector bank. So for PSB, what is the approach to be adopted? Processing is done in all cases by using in-house resources. Processing is done in some cases by using in-house and some outsource. And here complete outsource, C1. And D, outsourcing is not used at all. So A and D are similar answers. All give by in-house resources, yeah will change this because the A and D seem to be same. So, so product development in public sector banks, the following approach is adopted. Processing is done in all cases by using in-house, so completely in-house or partial in-house, partial outsourcing or processing is done in all cases by using out, uh, uh, using out resources, out means outside resources. Okay. So, what is the true answer over here? What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. Up till now, we used to think that in public sector banks, everything is done completely in-house. 
earlier means up to 2005 10 they used to do completely in house but nowadays even public sector banks have changed okay they have also changed now you see all the banks have geared up you might have seen this right all your banks are giving you huge pressures isn't it aren't they giving you huge pressures now so all your banks are giving you huge pressures for what for functioning how many of you are getting the insurance target everyone just tell me how many of you are having that insurance target to the fullest means to the fullest means on a daily basis how many insurance logged in today this week that week insurance week that week then you have that kisan uh, credit card target how many of you have this uh, kcc target and insurance target mainly insurance forget about kcc because kcc is a core product what about insurance how many of you have insurance targets type yes in the comment section if you have the insurance targets everyone type yes right everyone because nowadays banking is less of banking and completely it's of insurance so that's why public sector banks have changed a lot they have sim- become similar to that of the national uh, this uh, private banks so the answer is this now b this is same the case in private banks also this is similar uh, similarly the cases in public sector banks also the processing is done in some cases using in house and in some cases using outsourcing so that is done what is outsourcing outsourcing means we give the survey part or some other uh, part which is given to the other public means common persons uh, means some private agencies are given this job okay got it move on okay yeah chalo next one are you with me everyone are you with me everyone okay with this how's it going are you understanding it everyone are you understanding it type yes in the comment section everyone are you following it <coughs> chalo next one in which of the following category of banks the product development process is fully outsourced fully fully outsourced in which category of banks now think over it everyone which category of banks the product development is fully outsourced public sector new private old private and foreign banks firstly tell me what is public sector bank see here today i'll be taking the same session in at 7 am just 15 minutes from now join the batches as at right now you can join the batch also today is the first day of the paid batch do join it immediately okay do join it right now you join it because today's topic is this only public sector banks introduction to the banking retail banking i'll be taking that only okay so fully outsourced in which bank sir new private sector banks means what these are hdfc bank icici bank which have which have come into existence after 1991 narsimham committee old private sector banks means those banks were existing earlier those are private banks like karnataka bank or uh, this uh, uh, there are other banks as well karnataka was there karur vaishya was there these banks existed long back and last one is foreign bank means like city bank hsbc so fully outsourcing is done in foreign banks this year year full outsourcing is done always okay here they do full outsourcing remember this okay so foreign banks in new private sector banks and public sector banks partial okay here in fact all all of them now all of them are partial outsourcing completely okay all are doing partial outsourcing now got it okay with this move on chalo let's move on to the next one bank adopt different approach uh, different process models for retail asset products which include centralized retail asset processing centers 
centralized processing in some cases, regional processing centers, and standalone processing at branches. So banks adopt different process models. What are the different process models? Centralized retail asset products. Now you'll see what is the difference between A and B. What is the difference? Centralized retail asset products and here centralized processing in some some cases. Now the difference between A and B is in A we are only focusing on asset loan. But here we are focusing on loan as well as deposits, assets and liabilities both. Okay. So that is the difference. Centralized asset processing, then centralized processing in some cases. Regional processing centers. Regional means what? We have various in various regions, north, east, west, south. There are certain processing, processing centers, right? Standalone processing at branches means at the branch level. What is the answer? A to D all, A to C only, A, A to B only and C and D only. What should be the answer over here? Everyone? Think. Sometimes there is only retail asset. Sometimes centralized is done for all the products. Nowadays all the products are centralized. All almost, right? Banking products. Retail processing centers and standalone. So the answer is A to D all. Okay, all of them. A to D all. Okay, got it? Next one. In retail asset product, model where the retail loans are sourced by branches and by marketing teams and processed at a single point is known as here, sourced at branches. Branches are only sourcing it by marketing team. So everything is sourced. Here we are talking only of sourcing and processed at a single point. So single point means only one level. Centralized processing it might be or anything we can call it. So it is called as what? Standalone, regional, centralized and any of these. So what is the answer for this? All the branches are giving their, uh, these documents and they are processed at only one level. One processing center is there. So that is called as standalone, regional, centralized and any of these. What do you think? Yeah. Think over it. Think over it. I'll just wait for one minute. Okay. So the answer is centralized, right? Centralized processing. This is the answer. Centralized. Got it? Okay. Next one. Where the bank follows the retail asset product, processing at branches without taking any assistance from regional centers. This is called as sphere. Sure. Where the branch follows the retail asset processing at branches. So it is done at branches without taking any assistance from the regional center. So no help from the head office or zonal office or anyone. So it is called as standalone, regional, centralized or any any of these. Think about it. This is a bit tricky one. Tricky. Okay. This is a bit tricky one. A bit tricky. Everyone think over it. Everything is done at the branches. Sourcing is also done at the branch. Processing is done at the branch. Everything at the branch. So it is called as what? 
स्टैंड अलोन रीजनल सेंट्रलाइज थिंक 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 आई गिव यू हिंट ऑल्सो ओके इट्स आइदर ए और बी इट्स आइदर ए और बी थिंक और इट नाउ आई वॉन्ट द आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एवरी वन काइंडली कमेंट गिव द गिव इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एवरी वन answer is it is called as stand alone remember stand alone processing means stand alone what do you mean by stand alone i am alone nobody is helping me that's what is said over here processing at the branches without taking any assistance from the regional center so no help it is called as stand alone got it remember this by heart the level of centralized processing of retail assets is the lowest in respect of which of the following banks so centralized processing of retail assets is lowest remember we want it for the lowest now in which of the following banks new private old private public sector and foreign banks central processing is lowest which of the banks think over it lowest now we don't want highest we want the lowest okay we want the lowest so it is lowest in public sector banks remember this public sector banks c is the answer okay next one the level of centralized processing of retail assets is highest in respect of which of the bank highest so everything is centralized everything it's highest in which banks then obviously now this will be foreign banks right foreign banks so these were the questions for this rwwm hi friends good morning welcome to the achiever series in at adda 24/7 hi good morning good morning everyone ready okay so we are in the achievers mcq series for those who have, those who are joining new we are in the mcq series for rbwm okay and we are covering all the objective questions for your rbwm remember this uh, question bank from which i am taking it's available in the paid classes so immediately join the paid class and you'll get all these question bank uh, complete question bank with you okay so let's start okay for may 24 exam achiever series mcq uh, achiever series it's a mcq question series okay we are in module a right now so let's start yeah so the first question to make the fd to function like the current account the banks offer what function like a current account look at this function like a current account to make an fd function like a current account means what how can a fd function like a current account what is a current account everyone what is a current account current account means where i make the transaction constant transaction unlimited transactions i do make so can i make the same in fd yesterday we saw one question similar question over here yesterday at the end how many of you have uh, got the answer similar question yeah okay so for this what is the answer say this to make the fd function like the current accounts the banks offer what cancellation offer cancellable fdrs offer no prepayment penalty for fdrs offer overdraft facility attached to the fdrs and all of the above now this is again the problem we always think whenever we see this all of the above answer all of us feel that yes 
Generally, this is the answer, but no. This time, this is not the answer. All of the above is not the answer. Now, you think over itself. Everyone think over it. What should be the answer for this? To make the FD function like the current account, what should be the answer? Everyone think over it. Think over it. What should be the answer? Yeah. How can an FD function like the current account? The answer is here to offer overdraft facility on the FDR. What is an OD? FDOD, what is that? FDOD means what do we do in FDOD? A typical amount, generally 80 to 90 percent, is given on that FD as an OD. Right? We open a separate OD account and then give it and that customer makes the transactions on that offer cancelable fdr this is not the answer why because if i cancel this fdr what happens fd won't remain at all we want the fd also and the od also to remain to offer no prepayment prepayment penalty fdrs means what again i am telling that customer to cancel that fd so a and b cannot be the answers okay so answer will be C only. C, this is the answer. Offer order of facility on the FDR. That is the answer. Okay, let me mark it red. Everyone got this? Type yes in the comment section. Everyone got it? Group life insurance covers and group health insurance covers are offered by the bank with. So group life, we always give, not only group, we give single life also life insurance covers or health insurance also okay we give this health insurance we give this uh, life insurance covers with various products which are those products now what do you mean by this we give this an added addendum now many of us don't know over here many of the banks might not be giving nationalized banks but private banks and foreign banks have already started this product long back you open the savings account with us and you'll get a health insurance. You'll get an accident policy. You'll get this policy. You'll get that policy free. Open the savings current FD account with us. So, what is the answer over here? Along with which products do I offer this life insurance and health insurance products? With FDR, savings bank, current account or only FDR and current account or only savings and FD account or savings bank account and current account. So what can be the answer A, B, C or D? Think or it. Yes. Yes, what do you say guys? What do you say? What is the answer? Which products do we offer the life insurance and health insurance? Is it A? I'll give you a hint. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It is either A or C. A or C. What can be the answer? It's either A or C. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. See, here, the answer is this. A. All of them. All of them. See, here. it depends on the bank. If some bank wants to mobilize more current accounts, it will offer these products with the current. If some bank wants to mobilize FDRs, it will offer these products with FDRs. So, these are just the add-on policies, add-on things given, okay? Next one. Term deposits are offered with the provision for, pre for payment of interest on. So, now these are all basic questions, but we must know this. All are basic, but we must know the answers over here. 
so this term deposits are offered with the provision of payment of interest on monthly and quarterly monthly quarterly and on cumulative interest payment basis quarterly and on cumulative interest payment basis monthly and on cumulative interest payment basis so what is the answer do i give the interest uh, okay how many of you uh, uh, work on the, work in the fd department or have worked in the fd department what are the uh, uh, interest uh, interest which you are giving are you giving monthly interest or quarterly or cumulative or six monthly also see here there can be answer of six monthly also over here okay yearly also can be the answer it depends on bank to bank i can give the interest on monthly quarterly six monthly and cumulative interest payment basis i can give that also so what is the answer yes answer is d correct monthly quarterly on a, and on cumulative interest payment basis all of them any of them you can you can give the interest okay i can give it on the daily basis who can ask stop me as far as my software supports it okay i can give it on the daily basis what the what the problem okay yeah next one the standard retail asset products offered by the bank are housing loans consumer durable car loans credit cards and personal loans so which are the standard retail asset products standard means commonly given commonly housing loans consumer loans car loans credit cards and personal loans so a to b a to c a to d and a to e all now this is the simplest question available simplest okay it is the simplest think or it give me the answer the most simplest question The answer is A to E all, correct? A to E all. These are the common products: housing loan, consumer loans, car loans, credit card, personal. These are known as generic products now. Every bank is giving these products, right? Next one. The retail asset products do not include which of the following? Now this is the tricky one, huh? Retail asset products do not include which of the following. Now this is the really tricky one. Think over it. Rent receivables, salary ODs, loan for traders in personal segment. So do not include retail assets. Huh? Rental as uh, this rental receivables, salary ODs, loans for traders in personal segment, A and C, B and C, A and B, and none of the above. Now think over it. What can be the answer? Everyone, 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 everyone. Be fast. Yes. Think over it. What can be the answer? Retail assets products which do not include. Who do not in? What is not included in retail assets? Let me get the answer from you, everyone. What is the answer over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think over it. Think over it. Fast, 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 fast. in the meantime everyone do join the batches because the batches are have just started okay all the numericals objective questions case studies covered i have just started the batch yesterday only it was an orientation phase the actual topic will start from monday so do join the batches asap okay how to join them i'll show you at the end okay in the meantime everyone subscribe to officers at the 24/7 everyone subscribe to officers adda click on the bell icon everyone click on the bell icon share it with your friends if you like it see this yeah so retail assets do not include which of the following give the answer 
is it d or is it c where is the answer of c yeah it's either a or d think of it a or d what should be the answer a or d yes please give me the answer everyone a or d what can be the answer yeah d is the right answer none of the above. all of them are the features of retail retail assets rental receivables means we give the loan on the rentals okay if somebody is getting some rent i can fund that customer on a regular basis on that rent also because after all that's like an emi to that person or this uh, sip to that person second is salary overdrafts right salary ods means od to the salary account if somebody is getting a regular salary i can offer that customer a one month or two month salary od loan to traders remember many of you felt that traders is a corporate loan no small traders and msme is a retail loan okay so loan to traders is a retail loan remember this it's a retail loan got it next one which of the following does not form the part of retail services does not which of the following does not form the part of retail services mobile internet telephone banking a b and c mobile banking internet banking telephone banking it's quite simple now this this you can definitely get it answer is right simple answer none of the above isn't it because all are the part of this uh, alternate channels now right what is alternate chan channels alternate channels mean those channels where human being is not directly involved mobile banking internet banking app banking telephone banking social media banking all these okay so these are a part of retail services now okay move on type yes in the comment section if you are getting it right up till now everyone type yes next one in retail banking which of the following is not the part of other products and services now look at this not the part of other other means what we are talking of here talking here as a ancillary products ancillary services ancillary okay ancillary services these are called as ancillary one second ancillary services these are called as okay yeah so which of them is not the part of ancillary services retail sale of gold coins bill payment services payment gateway to rail air ticket booking and none of the above hmm now i'll tell you many of you will get confused in one answer definitely you'll all get confused in one answer because you all banks are not doing it as of now which one think or it okay i'll give you a hint in this okay wait for two uh, half a minute i'll give you a hint also all of you are getting confused between a and c no d okay i'll give you a hint the answer is between a and d only a and d now think or it answer is between a and d think 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 yes the answer is d d none of the above because all of them are the part of uh, other products and services what did i say the you will get problem in this uh, gold coins because nowadays none of the bank sells gold coins I means very few i won't say none very few banks sell the gold coin because the margins are very very limited in that but that is also an ancillary services what are ancillary services ancillary services are those services which are not a core banking product 
okay what is the core banking product core banking product means saving current fd for deposits and for loans we have all our loans housing loan personal loan consumer loan all the types of loans any loan given is a core product then what is ancillary locker locker is an ancillary service is a, is it a core product of a bank suppose if there is no locker tomorrow won't the bank function will the bank stop functioning so ancillary means which is not directly affecting my uh, core business okay even this mutual fund insurance is third party product these are all ancillary ser services many others are there okay so coming back yeah so answer is none of the above okay all of them are a part of other products or ancillary services okay the process of developing a product where the best features available of the available products are incorporated along with the additional value engineering is called as hmm what do you mean by this developing a product where the best features of the available product so whatever is the existing feature existing product let's say tomorrow i am in let's say some xyz bank and i see that sbi has developed a very good product or pnb has developed a very good product which is gaining huge uh, traction or huge attention so what will i do i just copy the full product from them okay and add some additional features which they are not giving so getting the best features from this uh, existing product and adding the value so cross selling product innovation hybrid hybrid cross pollination and product development so what is this called as this is the typical one now this is a real difficult one huh? yeah this is a real difficult one think over it yes this will really require your means uh, rack your brains you'll have to think again and again in this yeah think 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 let me see how many of you have answered this no still people are confused over here still you are confused still many of you are confused over here so what is the answer for this see here, there is a typical answer for this the typical answer for this is hybrid cross pollination now what is hybrid cross pollination you will say sir what is this pollination this is a biology word you had this in biology right pollination so hybrid cross pollination is a term used from that biology only and it is given in banking so what do i do i copy that full product pollination means what it's from one flower to other the bees move okay so similarly from one bank to another the bank, the product moves and we add some features to it some value to it okay so that's why hybrid cross pollination is the answer next one the views and instructions of dash are prime drivers of product development in banks hmm views and instructions of whom prime drivers in product development so product development has a main feature means it is dependent on whose views rbi ministry of finance training establishments and top management now see here many of you have this in the mindset that the answer is customers isn't it the views and instructions of customers are of prime importance that is obviously the answer if the answer would have been customers over here okay if there would have been an option of customers then that would have been the first answer customers but now you have to choose between these given answers between these for what is given then 
आर बी आई मिनिस्ट्री ट्रेनिंग एंड टॉप मैनेजमेंट बिटवीन दीज आंसर्स सो वेन एवर यू हैव टू चूज बिटवीन दीज आंसर्स वॉट से दी चूज यू हैव टू चूज द अमॉन्ग्स दैम विच इज द बेस्ट टॉप मैनेजमेंट दिस इज द राइट आंसर टॉप मैनेजमेंट ओके गॉड इट नेक्स्ट वन इन प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इन बैंक द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स आर गिवेन वेटेज जोग्रफी वेटेज ऑफ ब्रांच सेंटर एंड बिजनेस पोटेंशियल ए टू सी ऑल ओनली ए टू डी ऑल बी एंड सी ओनली बी एंड डी ओनली सो वॉट यू थिंक सी दिस इन प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इन बैंक द फॉलोइंग फीचर्स आर गिवेन द वेटेज विच फीचर्स आर गिवेन द वेटेज या विच फीचर्स आर गिवेन द वेटेज geography can i give any product anywhere suppose if i give the same product in banking in uh, south india as well as in north india same product forget the core products savings or anything but other other features they vary as per the requirement of that customer of the region weightage of the branch correct center uh, center and business potential so the answer is this a to d all all of them is the answer okay all of them are given the importances over here and last one for today in a product development in bank the following factors are given importance market now look at this question is same but look at the factors market dynamics segmentation customer segments and product positioning so our question is same but the factors are different again the options are same think over it what can be the answers what can be the answer for this again common answer right a to d all because all the factors are important market dynamics what is the market product what is the market trend going on right now segmentation what type of customer i am targeting customer segments right and product positioning isn't it hi friends welcome to rbwm the special se- and the regular sessions okay so as you all know we are covering the rbw in this session what do, what do we co- cover we cover all the objective questions for the rbwm various module wise okay so follow the series till the end follow the series till the end okay let's start acha so let's start yeah <coughs> oh one second yeah everyone knows this portion of yours what all are the subjects Indian economy and Indian financial system principles and practices of banking accounting and financial management for bankers and RBWM so you must know may all of you must first know the complete portion otherwise what happens you'll go on studying and you won't know the portion at the, uh, then it's a problem for you right so that's why this portion is of utmost importance for you you all must know this okay chalo let's me let me start with this hold on in afm remember the you have many numericals afm as well as in uh, rbwm in rbwm also you will be having the numericals okay chalo let's start with today's topic we'll be doing the objective questions over here okay one sec so let's start with this may series for achievers okay mcq series module a we are in right now so let's move on first one a retail business model is built on dash in geography based approach a retail business model is based on dash in geography based approach hmm what can be the answer over here think over it think over it everyone what can be the answer A retail business model is based on what? Different products, different service, geographies, different markets. So it is based on what? 
is based on dash in geography based approach dash now this dash you have to fill in think over it everyone think over it think think answer is very simple it's uh, it seems to be there okay it is geography is correct in yesterday we covered some different approaches segmented approach then geography based approach then departmental approach i gave some one liners for you also so follow that completely everyone okay that's why i'm saying follow the series completely because what happens if you start from the middle you won't get the grip some topics we cover in this class some topics we cover in other class something important comes up then we cover it in uh, whenever wherever we can so that's why you have to follow the complete series okay so the answer over here is geographies okay retail uh, business model is based on geographies in geography based approach second one where strategies of retail banking are built on the basis of type of the branch such as rural semi urban urban metro such approaches called as this also i cleared it segmented geography based classification based any of these now think over it this is what you need to think everyone think over it what do you say think for some time yeah what is it you are getting what is the answer for this yes the answer for this is built on the basis of rural semi urban you have these branches in your banks also right do you have the branches in your banks means you have semi urban branch you have urban branch we all have these branches in the, mainly in nationalized banks we have this concept of semi urban urban right so this approach is called as what segmented geography based classification based just now i gave you the example of geography based right i gave you the example of geography based so what was the answer geography based means what it will be based on geography means what i am having the branch in maharashtra i am having the branch in jnk i am having the branch in punjab haryana mp this is geography based segmented means what depending on the customer segment i am having a nri branch i am having a msme branch this is segmented classification means what this is the real answer classification means rural semi urban urban means as we differentiate the, between the branches this is the urban branch this is a semi urban branch so this becomes the answer okay so classification based approach where the branches are of the type rural semi urban urban metro it is called as classification type okay next one which of the following business models business approach for retail banking is found in public sector banks now business which approach is found in public sector now you will get confused over here okay now look at this segmented approach geography based approach classification based approach and holistic model based on the corporate objective this is corporate corporate objectives of the retail business okay so which approach is used by public sector banks many of you will get confused over here okay many of you will get confused over here get the answer for this yeah what do you think should be the answer many of you will get i'll tell you what will you do many of you will write i'll tell you they you'll write classification based okay you'll write classification based but that is not the answer think over it huh?
Got the answer? What is the what is the answer for this here? Public sector banks, we generally feel that it is classification based, urban, semi-urban, rural, but it's not that. The real answer is this. Holistic model based on the corporate objectives for the retail banking. See, corporate objectives. This is very important. Nowadays, even public sector banks have changed. Maybe you've seen the shares of uh, public sector banks now in the stock market. Usually up. Why? Because they have changed. They have changed the model. Earlier we had this model of classification based, geography based, everything we had it in our banks. Geography based also we added, classification based also we added, but now we are coming up out of all these and now we are moving towards this. Holistic model based on the corporate objectives for retail business. So corporate objectives are important. What are corporate objectives? Corporate objectives means where I want my bank to be in coming years. What should be my net profit? That is my corporate objective. Based on that, I'll change my classification. I change my geography based. Wherever I want, the branches are not working. So I'll shift those branches. Right? Wherever I want, there is a semi-urban branch. But uh, there are a lot of urban customers coming over there. I'll shift it from semi-urban to urban. Okay? So it can happen anything. Depending on the corporate objectives. These are very important corporate objectives. Okay. Chalo, let's move on. Which of the following business approach for retail banking is followed in the new private sector banks? Now new private sector. Segmented. Geography based. Classification based. And mix of segment and classification. So what is the answer for this? Think over it. Now, new private sector banks means which banks are we talking of? We are not talking of this Karnataka Bank or Karur Vaishya Bank, Federal Bank. These banks were all formed before 1991. Those banks which are formed after 1991, after that Narsimham Committee report. Remember, 1991 Narsimham Committee report was one of the game changers in banking system. It changed the whole approach of banking. Earlier the banks were dominated means mainly almost 99% all the banks were nationalized banks only. They were dominating the game. But in 1991, Narsimha committee gave the report that the banking needs to be changed. For that, new private sector banks came in. In 1994, these banks came in generally. Some came in somewhere earlier also, but generally 1994, these banks came in. So, these banks when they came in, they changed the whole scenario of banking. Now, all we see that uh, online banking, everything, we are moving, shifting more towards this app banking now, right? Why is it? Because of the, app, uh, the competition given by these private sector banks, right? So, now, which of the following business approach for retail banking is followed by these new private sector banks? So, what, what should be the answer over here? Is it segmented? Do they have NRI branches, MSME branches? Do they have classification based? Means rural, semi-urban. <coughs> what do they have? Think over it. Think. Yes, think over it, everyone. What should be the answer for this? Private sector. Anyone amongst you is in private sector banks? New private sector or you can say Axis Bank, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, Indusind Bank, or old private sector banks means federal bank, Karur Vaishya Bank. Okay. So what is the answer for this? Yes. The answer is mix. Remember, it's a mix. They always follow the mixed approach. New private, uh, this Indian private sector banks. Okay. Next one. Which of the following constitutes a basic structure of retail banking as per the recent trends? So, constitutes a basic structure. Structure means what do we sell? Which one do we sell now? What do we sell? Do we sell retail assets only? Do we sell retail asset and liabilities? Do we sell liability and third product, third party products only? Or do we sell retail asset, retail liability and third party products? This is quite simple one. So you should be able to answer this, right? 
What do you think should be the answer? Very simple one. Think, let me get the answer from your side. Let me get the answer from your side, everyone. So what is the answer? Everyone, yes, what is the answer? What should be the answer? Think over it. Simple one, isn't it? Don't you sell insurance today? Your main job is insurance selling now. Means many of the bankers tell me that we are less of the bankers and more of the insurance sellers. Right? Everyone is selling insurance on the today. Insurance, insurance. I go to the bank for FD. I come out with insurance. I go to the bank for savings. I come out with insurance. I go to the bank for depositing the cash. I come out with insurance. That's the same. So, it is what? All of these three. Retail assets, retail liability and third party. What is retail asset? Asset. Asset means what? Asset is a loan for the bank. So, loans are the assets for the bank. Liability means what? Deposit. Saving current FD. And third party means what? This third party means those products like insurance, mutual fund or broking accounts. There are many. There are factoring. There are other, other as well. So, there are certain credit cards of other banks. So, these are all the basic structures of today's banking. Means total, today we do the selling of all these three products. Retail assets, liabilities and third party. So the answer is D over here. D. Okay. Answer is D. Got it everyone? Answer is D. Next one. Liability products offered. Liability products offered to the customers in the, in the following three forms. So liability means what? Deposit. Okay. Deposit products. So deposits are offered in what form? Savings account. Third party products means insurance, mutual fund, term deposits. Second is savings account, current account, current account and term deposit. Saving account, current account, third party product. Okay, third party products. And current account, third party products, third party products and term deposits. So what should be the answer? Now this is quite, quite, quite simple. You must be able to know this because we all have passed the entrance while coming to the banks, right? So we all must know this answer. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think all? Yeah. It is? Correct. We are here talking of only banking products. Only banking. So, saving current and FD. This is the only answer. Third party product is not a banking product. So, this doesn't come under liability. Here also third party. Here also third party. These products are not under uh, liability product. These are not core banking products. Core banking products are only three. Saving current FD in deposits and in loans any or any type of loan which we give okay next one the following has become the generic feature of savings bank account in recent years generic means what common feature common means what so what common feature means so what means if i tell any customer i am giving atm card so what if i am giving debit card so what credit card so what Multi city check, so what? It's nothing new, okay? So that is generic feature. Suppose if I tell you sun rises in the east, you'll say, so what? I know it, okay? 
bank gives the loan products so what it's a generic feature so the point over here is generic means whatever is common you can't differentiate yourself you can't differentiate yourself so that is the generic feature okay so which are the generic features atm card debit card credit card multi city checks it is a to d all all of them all of them have become the generic features now nothing is new credit card is also done every bank is giving all these products atm card debit card credit card multi city checks everyone is giving the same isn't it next one to increase the earning potential of a savings bank balances okay of savings bank balances the following facilities are offered by the banks so what are the facilities sweep add on life policies add on group health policies and all of the above to increase the earning potential of savings bank account means what if i have more balances in my savings bank then i learn more why because savings bank is a low cost deposit saving and current both low cost deposit why because we don't give any interest on current on saving we give hardly 3.5 to 4 percent right so that's why we have to earn a lot on the savings bank account so which facilities are available sweep add on life add on group health and all of those so answer is correct all of the above everything is allowed what is sweep i'll cover that later we are having a separate topic on that okay this you already know add on group life policies add on group health policies liability product differentiation is very thin in different bank uh, different bank but the following factors distinguish the product from one bank to another so liability product means what saving current fd now saving current fd is common you go anywhere saving is saving current is current fd is fd let it be any bank okay so what differentiates number 1 technology and delivery process and delivery technology and process only technology process and delivery all so the answer is simple isn't it all right now uh, see this to enable the customer to partially withdraw the term deposit without disturbing the entire amount on and the resultant loss the bank provides offer no penalty fdrs see here what are we doing partially withdraw we are not closing the fd over here offer no penalty fdr inject an unfixed component in the fixed deposit offer an overdraft facility and all of the above all of us tend to give the answer all of the above but the answer is not that we want partially withdraw okay the term deposit so partially withdraw without disturbing the entire uh, term deposit so in that case partially withdrawing if i offer no penalty fdr means what the customer will be able to withdraw all the fds he'll be withdrawing full fd okay so that is also uh, one thing or even the customer can withdraw the partial fds also because i have seen that also suppose if one lakh fd i want only 40000 customer will withdraw 40000 make another fd for 60000 inject an unfixed component so that is also injected and offer an overdraft so the answer will be actually all of the above right so before going let me show you how to join the batches okay importantly remember you have this maha pack jiv maha pack plus you have jiv plus bank promotion maha pack okay plus you have the batches also join this achievers foundation batch english okay so click on this achievers foundation batch over here click you will see the details 75% off going on dc 75 code apply it okay how to apply it click on buy now fill in the details here enter the coupon code it's already applied over here dc75 now you can apply one more code that is y432 this code is very important this will give you higher discount look at this right now you are getting 75% off so click on apply y432 you are getting 77% so 2% extra you are getting and if you do it through the app then you'll have one more percent one percent extra using the coin systems so that's why use this app and this code y432 okay now same code will be applicable for your this ab uh, this uh, 
महापैक ऑल्सो जे आई बी महापैक टू पॉइंट ओ और यू कैन जो बाय द कम्बाइंड महापैक जे आई बी प्लस बैंक प्रोमोशन कम्बाइंड महापैक ओके एनी थिंग यू कैन बाय सो यू आई शो यू बैंक प्रोमोशन कम्बाइंड बिकॉज इट्स टू इन वन ऑफर सो यूर यू गेटिंग जे आई बी प्लस बैंक प्रोमोशन एंड सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ प्लस नाउ अगेन आई टेल यू यू अप्लाई दिस कोड वॉट वॉज द कोड वाई फोर थ्री टू क्लिक ऑन अप्लाई सेवेंटी सेवन यू आर गेटिंग अगेन ओके सो अप्लाई दिस कोड वाई फोर थ्री टू एंड यूल गेट हायर डिस्काउंट ओके वॉट ऑल डू यू गेट इन दिस सी दिस सिक्स मंथ्स ट्वेल्व मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स वैलिडिटी थ्री थ्री वैलिडिटीज आर गेट इयर यू गेट ई बुक्स एज वेल ई बुक्स क्लिक ऑन दिस ई बुक्स यूल गेट सब्जेक्ट वाइज ई बुक्स Click on this subject, any subject. You will get chapter wise ebooks. Similarly for test, test also you will get subject wise and chapter wise test. So you can view that. So that's why I would suggest join this J I B plus bank promotion. Or in, even if you have, if you are not going for bank promotion right now, uh, join this only J I B uh, Mahapak. Okay, that is also possible. so jib mahapack or you can join the single batch if you want only a single batch you can join the single batch all of the options are available various tenures are available 3 months 6 months 12 months so you can join those okay so i'll be back tomorrow with another